Telepost is a for-profit courier postal service that seeks to help bridge the urban-rural divide in Kenya and Eastern Africa through a mobile application that will connect courier to customer that will assist in delivering packages such as medicine, food items, clothing, etc. 81 million is the number of poor in India. Two to three thousand are the number of welfare programs in India. And there is no way for a poor person to find out about all these welfare programs across the three or four thousand departments. Enter Yojana Wiki, which helps the poor navigate through this cross-section of different welfare programs through its very simple user-friendly website. And we also help the poor to actually navigate the process of getting these benefits. The name of our startup is Urban Watchers. We are creating a mobile crowdsourcing application that will offer information and real-time alerts to citizens on their neighborhood based on city level news and reports that any user can generate. Um, we found through our um, almost 50 countries that we've traveled to um, and six years of living and working uh, in countries all around the world that it's not about the program, it's not about the set itinerary, it's really about the people that you meet along the way. So Taranga is a new way to travel. It's about connecting with people who have mutual passions and getting off the beaten path when you travel. Our project was actually born from a class at SIPA about a year ago um, with Sarah Menard and she actually cemented this uh, inclination towards social entrepreneurship in all of us. Remit Mas is the cash to savings digital money transfer service that offers Latino immigrants a new way to remit. Our customers will have the ability to send money and allocate it into different savings wallets for their families' education, health and housing needs. I think our project really relates to what the Dean's Policy Challenge is trying to seek, which is solving urban policy problems. Whereas ours is particularly unique, is unlike the other uh, competition uh, competitors, we're actually focused on America, on a, a unique policy problem here, which is struggling community organisations. Community Spaces is Airbnb for venues. We're trying to connect communities with their venues and the same way around for the venues themselves. We know across America there are hundreds of thousands of community venues struggling to make ends meet and we want to give them a new source of revenue. Well, should we win, <laughs> we would build one poll post outlet in our pilot uh, county where we did all our, database, our data research and our needs-based assessment. In Chelsea, we've uh, been in touch with a church called St. Peter's. Uh, a lot of their space is underutilized at the moment and we want to bring people into that space and we want to broaden that model and take it out to America. If we are lucky enough to win, the next step for us would be to develop the application. We, are already, we already have a prototype that we will test but after those tests, we want to launch. So Remit Moss has become part of our day-to-day -day lives inside and outside of SIBA. Some people say remittances are dollars wrapped with love. We're inspired by the passion in the travel community and we're inspired to make travel more impactful. The first round competition of the challenge grant was launched for the very first time we did this nearly a year ago in spring 2014. And our second round ran through this academic year. And unlike some of the other schools, ours is a year-long process and we offer mentors along the way, uh, support travel to distant locations to test ideas. And we're investing in developing an ecosystem of intellectual and advisory support, both on our own and with Columbia Entrepreneurship. And in each of the two years, uh, submissions were first narrowed down to semifinalists, uh, which were nine or more teams, and then five finalists. And a panel of Columbia faculty and technology entrepreneurs assessed the projects and ask their finalists uh, to, to refine proposals um, and their business models and incorporate feedback uh, from testing in various audiences. So I'd like first to recognize the two winning teams of our first round, each received already uh, $25,000 to pursue their projects. So let me, they were profiled in the video, let me uh, invite them to join us, but please join me in congratulating the team that created Taranga, a peer-to-peer -peer web platform and mobile app that enables underemployed locals to become tour guide operators for international travelers. And I'm also pleased to recognize Pesaback, 
a program that uses uh, mobile technology to strengthen urban health care policy initiatives uh, in India. Would, if you are here, Pesa Back and Taranka, please join me on stage. Thank you very much. So now comes the exciting announcement of the winners of round two. Uh, we have five finalist teams uh, who pitched yesterday. You saw them uh, in the video, POA Post, an alternative model for postal services in Kenya, Remit Moss, a money transfer service for Latino immigrants, Spokey, a hub for organizations to turn their vacant spaces into unique venues in the US and in New York, Urban Watchers, a crowdsourcing app for reporting and receiving alerts on public goods and services, and Yoyana, a comprehensive portal for government welfare programs in India. To recognize the excellent ideas of the finalist teams that have committed to this year-long competition in which they led focus groups, workshops, and other activities, I would uh, like SIPA will support the three teams not selected as winners today with at least a 5,000 recognition award to support the further development of their businesses. And please join me in a congratulations to that year-long effort with excellent output. <laughs> Now to announce the winners of round two of the SIPA Dean's Public Challenge Grant, the second place team will receive $20,000 to support their implementation of their project, Spokey. The Spokey team is led by George Hampton, David Santos de Padua, and Gemma Peacock. Please join me on this stage. And now, the first place team who will receive $30,000 to support the implementation of their project is Remit Moss. Remit Moss is led by Elo Carraro, Daniela Hernandez, Filipa Pacheco, Stephen Palical, and Lima Hernau. We only have two with us, but it's a big team. So congratulations to you all. It's a real privilege to be part of this process, and we look forward to next steps. <laughs> 